Hey everyone, today we're talking about exercises for Myralgia Peristetica. Now, first thing you need to know is what is Myralgia Peristetica? Well, you have this nerve group that comes down and around from the low back all the way down through the deep part of the hip. It goes under this, what we call this inguinal canal here, and then down into the, you know, the top part of the thigh, basically part of the front of the thigh, but mostly on the outside over here. And this can cause quite a bit of pain, some burning, some tingling sensation in there. It's usually caused by um, something that has been compressed here or some sort of an injury. So a blow to this area, or it could be um, from having a belt on that's too tight or maybe doing work that requires you to be in this bent position for a long time, it can cause damage to that nerve. Well, over time, that nerve can scar up amongst the soft tissues in there and then cause you some long-term problems called myalgia peristetica. So basically nerves like to slide and glide like this and they don't like to be stretched really hard. Okay. A nerve that is stretched will be very aggravated. So remember this, as we do these exercises today, do these light and easy. Don't think that you should push harder to make it feel better. All right. That is super important. Um, and you should make sure that you have myalgia peristetica or lateral femoral cutaneous nerve problems. And because you could have a herniated disc in your back that looks like this, you could have a muscular problem here. You could have pulled a piece of bone off the front of your hip. There are many reasons why you can have pain in this area. Okay. But this is more for this particular nerve problem. So one of the things that you should do, or a couple of things you should do just to get warmed up would be anything like um, using a massage gun to the muscle to the front of your leg right over here. You don't want to go right over the spot um, where it, the nerve crosses underneath this um, this inguinal region right here. So you want to avoid doing that. You really want to work more on the muscle so that where the nerve fibers come into that muscle, um, they get to kind of relax a little bit. Other thing you could do is a little roller, either by hand like this over the top, or you can get the front part of the muscle, just rolling back and forth, using your body weight on it, and then even getting the outside of that muscle a little bit, just like this. Very safe and it's good to get that muscle kind of warmed up a little bit and mobilized a little bit before you start exercising. So one of the first exercises I like to do when it comes to getting this nerve to slide and glide a little bit would be bridges. Okay, so you simply lay on your back and lift your bottom up off the floor. You can see how the muscle on the front of the thigh is now starting to stretch a little bit. And this nerve is going to get a slight pull on it and then back down. So it's very simple. I have people generally do about 10 to 12 repetitions of these and then rest and then you can do it again. That is a very safe exercise to start with. Now the next one I really like to do is to get on your stomach up onto your elbows like this. So right now the nerve is getting a very slight stretch. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bend the knee and bring the head down at the same time. Let the leg go down, look up, bend the knee, bring the head down. And again, we're doing this slowly. I always tell people that you should never have more than a two to a four on a pain scale of zero to 10 while you're doing the exercise. It should feel more like a, a gentle tension and not a sharp shooting pain or a, a cord like feeling that is being stretched too much. All right. So again, the foot comes up, the head goes down just like that. Now to get a little more aggressive, what we'll do is we'll stay on our stomachs. We'll put the hands out in front of us and it's important that the hands stay on the floor. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend the knee and you're going to try to reach for the floor on the opposite side with your foot. As you can see here, while the arm is up here and the leg is going that way, we're getting a little gliding to this nerve right on this side. All right. So we're just arms on the floor, pick the leg up off to the other side. I would do eight to 10 repetitions of these. Again, if you can't get to the floor, that's fine. Just move in the range that is comfortable for you where you get that little piece of tension there. 
all right? As you feel more comfortable and you have less discomfort, you can then start to reach a little further back. And the last exercise I like to do, which is a nice stretch, which can lead into more standing and other functional exercises, would be a hip flexor stretch. Now, what you do is you take the good leg, you put it out in front of you, keep your body nice and straight. This leg is going to be right here on your knee. Always use a cushion or a pad because you want to be able to um, be comfortable as you lean forward. Now, what we're not doing is leaning with the shoulders. We're keeping this nice and straight. And it's very important that you keep those abdominals tight, okay? When you do that, you're then going to lunge forward on this leg. This is going to open up a little bit. And then you're going to come back. So again, this is not a long stretch. This is gliding and sliding of the nerve, all right? So it's different than doing just one 30-second stretch for a long period of time. Again, abs are tight. Looking forward getting this nice little pull or tension in the front of the leg and then resting. Now, it's okay to do a lot of other exercises. You can be on a bike, you can be on an elliptical, you can go swimming, you can do a lot of activity um, to keep your body in shape without aggravating this nerve. As long as whatever you're doing is not causing a considerable amount of pinch in the hip right on the front, Make sure you don't wear a tight belt or anything that is real constrictive here on the front of your um, body, and uh, you'll do well with that. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. My name is Paul Marquis. I'm a physical therapist, and this is Ortho Eval Pal here to help you with your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Thanks.